celebration of Ghana's Republic Day, Ghana Community Bristol, which is made up of Ghanaians and Friends of Ghana, in and around Bristol, invited all Ghanaians and Friends of Ghana to their summer ball, themed Building a Great Community for Generations to Come. Special guest of honor, His Excellency Papa Ousu Ankoma, the High Commissioner of Ghana to the UK and Ireland, was welcomed to the event by the President of Ghana Community Bristol Association, Frank Akuthako. Also present were some sectional heads from the Ghana High Commission, Mr. Kofi Ado, Head of Trade and Investment, and Mr. Owusu Ansa, Minister, Welfare and Consular Affairs. The MCs on the occasions were Dorothy Josia Dankwa and William Korsina. An opening prayer was said by Mr. Bernard Kwe, after which the Ghana National Anthem was led by Paul Chum Berima. And help us to resist oppressors true with all our will and my forevermore. We're pleased to have you here to participate and share in GCB Summer Ball 2018. Frank Akotako the president of the association welcomed all and gave a speech on the importance of the Ghanaian community. In his speech, he also talked about the aims and objectives of the GCB. Ghana Community Bristol is committed to building a great community for generations to come. The executives and I have made a commitment to champion the cause of Ghanaians in and around Bristol. We're committed to actively providing the environment for our kids to grow up and be proud of their heritage. We're committed to creating the atmosphere for young people who want to pursue various career choices to get the needed direction. The focus of GCB for the next foreseeable future is about how we can help and assist Ghanaians and young ones um, to grow up, to continue to maintain the discipline with which some of us grew up with. It's not about what we can personally get out of GCB, but it's about how we can give and create the env environment and create a legacy for generations to come. Oh, that's gorgeous. My goodness. Next on the agenda was a fashion show, Bottling Ghana Traditional Attire, presented by Kids. Wow. I, I think the men are challenging. 
losing now. We've all come a long way to get to where we are today, but we all have to continue working together, ensuring greater togetherness, building a sustainable, inclusive community fit for future challenges. Benjamin Randalls, Mayor of Bradley Stokes, gave a speech on cultural integration. I was born in the early 1990s and have grown up in a diverse community and educational structure where I've been taught to see people only as people and nothing more or less. I hope that others of my generation do too and we play a positive role in ensuring a continued path to a successful cultural integration that will stand the test of time, making us richer socially. As part of the celebrations, poet house written by Eugene and Teko were recited by the children. The home of the Ga people, the capital of Ghana. The proud cultural heartbeat of Ghana, the manifestation of the Ashanti culture prognantly expressed, the capital Kamasi, home of the Ashanti king. <laughs> Bron Ahafo region, magnificent physical features. Wonderful rivers, streams and waterfalls, hills and mountain ranges. Eastern region, the tourists from Iberu to Afan Plains, towering hills, waterfalls, rivers and caves, highlands and lowlands. Upper East region, Unique cultural heritage, fascinating dancing and smoke fabrication, spectacular walk features and hills. With togetherness and unity, we walk poignantly forward. This is our land, this is our home. and its environs for coming together to celebrate. The keynote address and greetings from His Excellency Nana Ekufudankwa, President of the Republic of Ghana, was given by the Ghana High Commissioner to the UK, His Excellency Papa Owusu Ankoma. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that there will be more opportunities for myself and staff of the mission to meet you, to the leadership of the association, encourage other communities to come together, establish Ghana Association, so that we may be able to identify our own problems and then 
present a common front and be each other's keeper. I wish you the best as we collectively seek to build a stronger community for future generations. After his speech, a performance was presented by Afrocentric dancers, followed by a poetry recitation by Abba Marke. like the sun and sing praises her inspiration is her shine her values are immeasurable Ghana the warrior leads she sees nothing but hope she fails to see the cracks her starlight shine is beautiful 
She dances around the golden clouds and wears her painful strength like the grandest pearls on her neck. <laughs> Thank you for creating such an event, first of all, to make us eat and to network. Mr. Africanus from the Ghana Diaspora also had this to say at the event. And as for us Ghanaians, we are very happy to always meet to eat and to dance. But I want to throw light on this very important subject, networking, networking, networking. Throughout my university years, that is what I've heard over and over and over again. And it only makes so much sense to me today because of the things we've been able to achieve through networking. So I want us to take advantage of these events and let's network. You never know who you sit by, but I believe that as you begin to talk to one another, we are able to get to know each other and so that we'll be able to also progress the vision that we have for Ghanaians in the South. It is my pleasure and duty and honor as the chairman of the Ghanaian Association of Portsmouth to extend a warm and a cheerful greetings to you all from your brothers and sisters at Portsmouth. Mr. Isaac Bedu, the president of Portsmouth Ghana Association, brought greetings to the Bristol community and appealed at unity and cooperation between Ghanaian communities. And it's my pledge that we poor smart people will stand side by side with you and support you every step of the way so that together we we'll achieve our common needs. And also remember, we all share the same values and sentiments. And you can always call on us every time, anytime, every time. As a gesture of our solidarity, we have a small token to present to this association. Mr. Sam Afari, the president of Southampton Gun Association, shared greetings and message of solidarity on behalf of the Southampton community and presented a gift to the GCB. So that is from Southampton Association. God bless you. Um, As part of the celebration, Frank Akotako, assisted by His Excellency Papa Owusu Ankoma, recognized and gave awards to the planning community members and immediate past executives, followed by a thank you gift to His Excellency Papa Owusu Ankoma and his wife Augustina. For your outstanding service to Ghana community, um, Bristol, as an interim executive for 2017 and 18, thanks so much for all you've done. You've made a real difference to our community. Your dedication, sincerity, and commitment to GCB is appreciated to all. Anytime you go into your office, uh, you look at it and then um, re remember us. That. So we we'll invite um, uh, His Excellency Papa Usuankuma's wife uh, to join us to make this presentation. Bravo. Thank you. It is my pleasure to now announce the new executives for the Ghana Community Bristol for the next two years. 
The new executives for 2018-2020 were introduced by Mrs. Ante Koko, followed by a raffle to raise funds for GCB. Our president is Mr. Frank Akotako. Our vice president is Mr. Inoke Japon. Financial Secretary, Mrs. Yawa Ofori. <laughs> to the executives, now that you've assumed office, I say to you all, leadership is not about a title or a designation. It's about impact, influence, and inspiration. We will be starting the raffle. And it sounds the I will start. Sir, can you show your hands? So he's going for four. Oh, for this big dress. So our winning ticket, please announce it is ticket number four, five, six. Yay! Three, six, four. Eight, eight, nine. Six, one. Let's give him a round of applause. Treasurer, the finance, and the lady will be dealing with the finance to pick the last ticket. The f I hear 20 pounds. Is there anyone who wants to challenge him to increase the 40 pounds? 49 pounds! 50 pounds! Go on! 50 pounds! Judges. The Ghana Airport, it goes for. 120 pounds. It's Tennessee whiskey. After the raffle, the vote of thanks for the great occasion was given by Dr. Yawa Ofori. So, on my behalf, I want to say thank you to all of you for dedicating so much time to make this evening such a success.